faithfulness to the Lord. And holiness will come to thine house. Amen. Amen. Follow peace with all men. Holiness without no man should see the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, say. I am Elder Cosby E. Sim. And we have Jesus Reigns Restoration Ministry. Amen. And this is part three of our lesson. Amen. Rest assured. Rest assured. Rest assured that everything is going to be all right. Rest assured that God is in control. Rest assured I am a child of God. Rest assured that we are the children of God. Rest assured that we have the promise of eternal life. Hallelujah. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to remind the saints. The Lord said, put the saints in remembrance. That, hallelujah, these are perilous times. These are the last days. Amen. Amen. The, hallelujah. And remember, saints, that judgment is going to start first in the house of God. Amen. 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 And we don't want God removing our candles. We don't want God to have somewhat against us for being disobedient. Because the wrath of God is against the children of disobedience. And we also know, according to Scripture, there be a falling away first in the house of God. And many have left the truth to follow a lie, to follow false teachers and false prophets that make a mockery of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Making a mockery of our Lord. Saying right is wrong and wrong is right. Like people like, like priests like people. And like people like priests. Jesus said, let no man deceive you, let no man steal your crown. And we know that there be false Christ, false teachers, false prophets that uh, have risen up, even today. Hallelujah. Saints, choose your battles wisely. The, the man of God said, who is on the Lord's side? In the midst of all the sin that was going on before this, the people of God, hallelujah, dancing around a false calf that came out of the fire. Moses being on the mount with the Lord coming down with the commandments that God wrote with his own fingers, and here it is, his people have chose another God and dancing around it naked. And forsaking the Lord thy God. And then the man of God said, Who is on the Lord's side? And the sons of the Levites that came forth. And he said, Get your sword. And in doing so, those that would, if many had perished that day. Then he said, Sanctify yourself before the Lord. And let's ask God for mercy. But that same question applies today. 
who is on the Lord's side. Well, we know who is on the Lord's side. Amen. Those that are living holy and those that are living righteous before God. Trusting in the Lord and doing good. Being filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We know who's on the Lord's side. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So again, not to, the Lord said, warn my people, tell my people. The minister, the man of God, bears not the sword in vain. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Rest assured, those that side with the devil. Those that mock Jesus, the body of Christ. Those that persecute and mock Christians. Rest assured. Rest assured. The Lord said, Vengeance is mine. I will recompense, said the Lord. The Lord shall laugh at them. For he seeth that their day is coming. Oh, mercy Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the scrap of the Lord is on the back of fools. For hallelujah. Hallelujah. Obedience is better than sacrifice. But disobedience is worse than witchcraft. And idolatry. Hallelujah. 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 First John 4 and 6. But know this thing. That we are of God. That he knows God hears us. He that is not of God hear, hears not us. Whereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. I'm going to say that again. Mm -hmm. We are of God. Mm -hmm. He that knoweth God hear us. Mm -hmm. And hear the saints. Mm -hmm. He that is not of God hear not us. Whereby there's the difference. Yes. Where, whereby know we the spirit of truth which is of God mm -hmm. and the spirit of error which is of the devil. Read that please. Amen. We translate what I'm saying. We being the people of God. If people will listen and hear the wisdom of God, the word of God, Amen. They know, hallelujah. They know that God is with us. They know that we are God. Hallelujah. And and have the spirit of truth. But those that don't hear us, those that resist the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, they have a spirit of error. Because they resist, the, Jesus said, if they receive you, they receive me. And they receive the one who sent me. Amen. But many do resist the Holy Ghost and hold the truth in unrighteousness. Many are not just ignorant of God's word, being without knowledge, but many are worldly ignorant. You got two men calling, one man calling himself a pastor, and he had for a wife another man, and he called himself the first gentleman. They're in error. 
mke wake ni mwanaume anajiita first gentleman yani mke wa mchungaji making a mockery of god and of his house wakivihaki nyumba ya bwana god is not in the building mungu hayuko kwenye hilo jengo wako katika makosa we got a vice president to have a first gentleman tuna eh, makamu wa rais ambaye ana mke ambaye ni mwanaume they not married hawajaoana but they shacking in the white house lakini wanaishi wakitenda uzinzi huo katika wao katika makosa marriage is honorable no one is shaking and the bed on the fire na kitanda kibaki but who among us god will judge bali wanaopata makahaba mungu atawahukumu Hebrews 13 and 3. Waebrania 3:13. Praise the Lord. Bwana yetu asifiwe. The spirit of truth. Roho wa kweli. I'm speaking truth. Ninaongea kweli. But many want to kill me for the truth. Wengi wanataka kuniua kwa sababu ya kweli. A argument about aborting children. Eh, ubishi kuhusu kutoa mimba. When God say Thou shall not kill. Kwa maana Mungu wakati Mungu amesema hatupasi kuua. There shall not be no of debate or argument. Hatupasi kuwa na ubishi wowote ule. There shall not be any disagreement if God has the, the first and final say. Hatupasi kuwa na kutokuelewana iwapo Mungu ana usemi wa kwanza na wa mwisho. But during the time of Pharaoh, lakini wakati wa Farao, when the hallelujah, the people of the Hebrews begin to outnumber the Egyptians Waibrania waliwashinda wa, namba ya wa, wa, wa Misri his his wise men came to him and say hey these Hebrews they are numbers what you going to do Waibrania hawa wamezidi wako ni wengi tutafanyaje and then Pharaoh ordered the first ma- the males hallelujah of the Hebrews to be thrown into the river tutaona Farao uh, akaamuru wana wa Israeli wakiume watupe kwenye mtu and to enslave the people na kuatia watu katika utumwa but the midwives they said no we're not going to do that lakini wakunga wakakataa we not like the Egyptian women that we would do that atufanye hivyo kama wana wa children na kuwa watoto wetu sacrifice our children kutoa kafara watoto wetu and they they said we are, we going to obey the lord And then in doing so the Lord rewarded them and blessed them and their home and their lives. Hata nyumba zao. Amen. Amen. There ain't no debate about uh, uh, aborting children or getting rid of children. Hakuna ubichi wowote katika kuua watoto au kutoa mimba. For the Lord saying suffer the children to come unto me for such is the kingdom of God. Bwana amesema Tupeleke watoto kwake kwa maana huo ni ufahamu wa mbinguni. And if you don't humble yourself as this child that I have here is an example, you cannot be my disciple. Tusipojinyenyekeza mbele za Bwana kama watoto wadogo, hatuwezi kuwa wafuasi. You cannot hallelujah be a child of God. Hatuwezi kuwa mtoto wa Mungu. You cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Hatuwezi kurithi ufahamu wa mbinguni. But people want to kill me for the truth. Lakini watu wanataka kuniua kwa kutuua kwa sababu ya Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mocking God. Wakimwadhi haki Bwana. God gonna get you. Bwana ata 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 I'm not on the right, I'm not on the left, but I'm on the straight and narrow with Jesus. Mimi siko upande wa kushoto wala wa kulia, bali niko katika njia nyembamba na Yesu Kristo. Many going to take the wide road. Wengi watachukua njia iliyo pana. Which lead it to destruction. Ambayo inaelekea kwenye uharibifu. All because it's wide, that don't mean that it's safe. Mradi tu iko pana, haina maana kwamba ni salama. But hallelujah. Now is the way. Straight is the way that lead it to heaven, lead it to righteousness jia yenyooka iendayo katika uzimani a very few going to be there yani wachache sana watakuwa hapo we don't have thousands of views no i ain't looking for that atakusi sisi ufuatu wengi wa waone video zetu yani uview ziwe nyingi but i know if one soul repent lakini tunajua kama nafsi moja ikitubu my bible tell me that all heaven rejoices hallelujah thank you jesus asante yesu 
Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, when I see my Savior, when you see your Savior, you want to hear, well done, thy good and You don't want to hang your head in shame. Amen. Amen. Make sure you get a full reward. But Jesus said, I have in my hand every man's reward according to their work. Rest assured, it's a fact. Faith without works is dead. I'll show you my faith by my work. As the body without the spirit is dead. Faith without works is dead also. If you're being slowful, you're not doing anything, you're not witnessing. You're in the house of God, you're sitting on your hands, you can't pray, lead praise and worship, you can't usher the door. You can't assist with ministering, you can't, you can't read the word of God, you can't do anything, you're just showing up as a prop. I'm going to let you know that I don't, uh, I don't mind is the devil's workshop. First John 4 and 7. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God. And knoweth God. Read that, please. Chapter Saba, or Rakapanga, or Johannes, uh, Ne Saba, that's Kadina Rabuan. What pens in Ampendani? What poor pendo la talk for Mungu? Nakila Apendai, Amezali wana Mungu. Nai, Anamjua Mungu. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Read that, please. Sadwanane, ye, I see a penda. <clears throat> Translate Proverbs 8 and 17. I love them. The Lord said, I love them that love me. <clears throat> and those that seek me early shall find me. Amen. There's a book of remembrance to all those that love the Lord. Amen. I, I get up, Lord, in the morning, Lord, I love you. In that new day, Lord, I love you. At night, whenever I get a chance, Lord, I love you. And it may be a time the Lord may ask you, Cause do you love me? Say, Lord, you know I love you. And the Holy Ghost in a small small feed my lambs, feed my sheep. Oh, hallelujah. Give them my word. What I tell you in secret. Hallelujah. Preach on the housetop. Preach before the whole world. Hallelujah. Be a light in this dark world. Somebody say, I'm just a little fish in a big ocean. Oh, hallelujah. But look how the but look how the Lord, hallelujah, has used this fish. The Lord say, Hallelujah to John and his brother. Hallelujah. He, when they were fishing, he said, follow me. I make you fishermen of men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For, uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Well, you got a notebook. You, you, you got a recorder. These notes during the week, you can go back and refer to. Hallelujah. The, the video in which we're doing. Hallelujah to re, to rehearse the matter to review. Ukiwa na kitabu unaandika mahali maandiko. Masomo haya katika channel yote yanafaa kwa kusoma Biblia taratibu na rudia mtu. Amen. Study to show yourself approval, workmen not being ashamed. Ndio mungu nimetuambia tusome 
tuonekane wale watumishi ambao hatujakataliwa and as the word of god say kama neno la mungu linavyosema prove those the, the good and perfect and acceptable will of the lord amen hakikishe mapenzi ya bwana ni yapi amen to be able to prove the word amen weza kuhakiki maandiko and if you don't have it you know what tell us to look you know what i'm going to seek the lord for an answer Amen. Amen. And I'll get back to We don't know it all. I don't know it all. I can't speak it all. But whatever the Holy Ghost lead us to do. Whatever the Holy Ghost tell us to say. Got to got to say. Got to do it. Amen. Amen. You got the Holy Ghost, you got to show some sign. Amen. Praise God. Second Timothy 1 and 7 for, for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord nor of me his prisoner but be thou partakers of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God who have saved us and called us with a holy calling not according to our works but according to his own purpose God's purpose remember that amen his own purpose and grace which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began amen, amen. read down to verse 9 Baraka wa kwanza usamani baraka wa pili wa Timotheo sura ya kwanza mstari wa saba nitasoma kwa jina la Bwana mpaka tisa maana Mungu akutupa roho ya uoga bali ya nguvu na ya upendo na ya moyo wa kiasi basi usionee haya ushuhuda wa Bwana wetu wala usinionee haya mimi mfungwa wake bali uvumilie mabaya pamoja nami kwa ajili ya injili kwa kazi ya nguvu ya Mungu ambaye alituokoa akatuita kwa mwito mtakatifu si kwa kadri ya mwenendo wetu sisi bali kwa kadri ya makusudi yake yeye na neema yake neema hiyo tulipewa katika Kristo Yesu tangu milele God has not given us a spirit of fear fear brings torment Mungu akutupa roho ya hofu hofu inaleta and you're not perfect in love if you in fear But he is God has given us a spirit of power. Mungu ametupa roho wa nguvu. Nguvu mamlaka. Of love. Upendo and of a sound mind. God's people ain't dumb. Watu wa Mungu si wajinga. God's people are not ignorant. Watu wa Mungu hawakuja kosa ufahamu na maarifa. God has given us wisdom. Mungu ametupa hekima. He has made us wise unto salvation. Ametufanya tukawe na hekima. Not ignorant unto salvation. Sio wajinga na wapuuzi katika mambo ya yani mambo ya kiroho. Amen. But he said if you seek me you will find. Amesema ukinitafuta utanipata. And get wisdom, get a understand. Tunaambiwa tupate hekima, tupate ufahamu. Not to lean to your own understanding but seek God's wisdom. Because if you seek him you will find him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Rest assured it's there. Hakikisha kwamba huwa na uhakika kwamba kiko hapo. The word of God is ready. Hallelujah. Na Mungu niko tayari. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it will accomplish and do what God has set forth for it to do. Na nitatimiza lile ambalo Bwana amedhamiria litimize. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's understand rest assured that's the kind of spirit that you have not a fear but a power of love and of a sound mind. Uwe na uhakika kabisa kwamba Mungu Bwana anatupa roho ya hofu bali ya hekima na akili iliyotimama. Rest assured be not ashamed of the gospel. Be not ashamed of your testimony as of what the Lord has done for you. Usionee haya Uh, Amen because if you're not ashamed there's a blessing for you. Kama hauna aibu kumwonea aibu injili basi kuna baraka kwa ajili yako. Rest assured those afflictions those things that you're going through 
for the gospel and hallelujah and, and various tribulations and various trials hallelujah that you're going through hallelujah that hallelujah don't that you're being a partaker of it god got a reward for you Amen. Because you were we are saved with a holy calling in Christ Jesus. Even though the scriptures say in verse nine, not according to your works, but we know there's an equally divided word. God, we have works to do for the Lord. The great commission is to go out in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And he didn't just designate that to the ministers as a preacher. That's for all his disciples. That's for all his children. That's for all his saints. Amen. To preach the gospel to every creature. To testify of the Lord's goodness. Amen. And his mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> but according to his purpose, his own purpose, God got a purpose for, for the things that we going through, the things that you endure from day to day, the things that are going on in the world, it's a purpose, it's a reason for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says, <clears throat> was given us in Jesus Christ before the world began. Amen. Amen. This uh, is talking about a dispensation of the gospel. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Number nine. Number nine. I just want you to translate what I just said. To you. Amen. That it was given to us in Christ Jesus before the world began. A dispensation of the gospel. The, the, the prophet said, oh, I'm just a little child. The Lord said, don't say that you're a little child. I called you from the womb. I sanctified you. I qualified you. Even before you were born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't, don't say you're a little child. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The uh, 11th verse, it says, thank you, Jesus, the 10th verse, but it is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who abolished death mm -hmm. and have brought life mm -hmm. and immortality to life through the gospel, through the word of God. He brought life and immortality, abolished death, I, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Through the word of God, the good news. Amen. Read that, please. Verse ten. Na sasa kwa kufunuliwa kwake, mkozi wetu Kristo Yesu, aliye batili mauti, na kufunua uzima na kuto kuharibika kwa ile injili. Translate out of all these mockers, out of all these false teachers, out of all these false prophets, amen. Rest assured that verse 11, where until I am appointed, he said, a preacher and an apostle and teacher of the Gentiles, we have them in the church, amen. amen. We have fivefold ministry. Amen. In the church. Amen. We have, I want you to translate, please. Kuna, kuna we have five four ministers. Kuna, uh, we uh, have pastors. We have apostles. Kuna we have teachers. Kuna Amen. Amen. In the church. The Lord tells us to do the work of an evangelist. Be full proof of your ministry. Amen. We have, hallelujah, angel of the house. We have under shepherds that watch after the souls of God's people. God 
Rest assured, they are there. You have help in the household of faith. That the house, house of God is a saving state. The house of God is a place of worship. But many have, the Lord said that many have, the zeal of thine house have eaten me up. The zeal of thine house has eaten me up. Because many today have made it a house of merchandise and a den of thieves. Well, not made it, but trying to. Trying to. Because he said, upon this rock I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail again. But there are many that are trying to make a mockery of God. Trying to make merchandise out of God's house. And God will destroy them. Hallelujah. For he said it is known among all nations. That my house is a house of prayer. Amen. A Amen. house of worship. Amen. Amen. Among all nations. Thank you, Jesus. Second Timothy. One and twelve. For to which cause I suffer also. And this is um, Apostle Paul about being in prison and so forth. But he's it, what he said, what God say to one, he say to all. He's saying to the church, he's saying to the bishop. Amen. Amen. For the which cause I also suffer these things. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For Amen. I know whom I have believed mm -hmm. and am persuaded that he is able Amen. to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Read that verse please. Kuminambili. Kwa sababu hiyo, nasama kakemina la buwana, samahani. Kwa sababu hiyo, nimepatikana na mateso haya, wala sita hayari. Kwa maana, na mjua yeye, nilie muamini. Na, kusadiki ya kwamba, aweza kukulinda Kile nilicho kiweka amana kwake hata siku ime. The man of God said, I'm not ashamed. Tumishu wa mumu anasema, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of, of, of uh, boasting Jesus. I'm not ashamed, hallelujah, of lifting up the name of Jesus. I'm not ashamed of testifying and witnessing the Lord. Amen. And neither should you. Wala we upasi kuonea haya. As a child of God. Kama mtumishu wa mumu. Amen. Amen. For I know who I believe in. Who do you believe in? Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. That's the response. That's the response we all should have. To that question. Whose report will you believe? The answer is we shall receive the report of the Lord. Believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Rest assured we believe God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, hold fast. Amen. Hold fast. The form of sound words. This is what we got to do as saints. Amen. I, re I, I put this in here because it's direction on how we need to walk in the Lord. It's a reminder from the man of God as to how we are to walk in Jesus. Live in Jesus. Hold fast. Hold fast to the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus that good thing which was committed unto thee 
keep by the Holy Ghost which dwell in us. Read those two verses for me. Ilinde ile amana nzuri ya roho kwa roho mtakatifu akaaye ndani yetu. Hold fast to sound doctrine, the sound words, good words. That's going to feed your soul. That's going to feed the Holy Ghost. Sound words. Maneno of salvation. Amen. Amen. Words that not that we will be a get in a debate or an argument among one another that we would discourage believers Amen. but sound words that bring life sound words in your witness and your testimony that will speak life and the life that you speak in is Christ Jesus our Lord which, hallelujah, hallelujah. Which had, and he says, in faith and in love in Christ. There's those words again faith and love and believe. Not doubting. Amen. Hallelujah. Where it rested, rested assured that deed in doing so, you shall not fall. And that good thing, those good things that of faith and love and of charity and all the fruits of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Mambo that me, good thing me, keep by the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God that dwell in us. Amen. What good thing is that? The Gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. This concludes part three of our lesson. Rest assured. Rest assured. Amen. Amen.